Yeah. Got you where you are today. Record players. So there's a group of people that know you as the Chet, the Chet player mm -hmm. from the, the national competitions and that kind of stuff. Right. But I also understand that you do a praise guitar workshop. Yeah. Uh, being a Christian, of course, I've uh, I've done an awful lot of uh, playing at church, and <laughs> quite honestly, uh, church music and me have had a love-hate relationship ever since the beginning. Uh, you know, I want for church music to be good, and I want to be involved in making it good and inspiring others to make it good. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, is that a whole lot of music in and out of church um, really sucks. I mean, you know, I'm, what can I tell? Uh, so I, I've, I've strained, you know, I've strained to try to uh, make it better. Yeah. yeah. Tell us how well, you feel. yeah the, here's the problem with that. See, is because when you're in church and you feel that way, you, you can't see, say that. Yeah, well, you either either you hold it in and, and until you pop, or you say something and you you know. So uh, what what begins to happen is when you start you know moaning about things uh, in God's economy, he has, he has a way of sticking his finger right in your chest and saying, "Okay, buddy boy." What are you doing about it? You see, you're either part of the problem or part of the solution. And when you're sitting back complaining about everything, you're really more the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to um, kind of grab myself up uh, by the nap of the neck and, and say, okay, so if it is bad and it could be good and I have the answer, what am I doing? You know. So I developed this thing called the Praise Guitar Workshop, and it, it was actually just developed out of those frustrations. And... Uh, uh, I started doing it, uh, I, I taught my first one of those back in uh, 1995, and uh, so I've been doing it for a little better than a decade now, and uh, I actually travel all over the world, I actually during that European tour I, I did a uh, workshop in Vienna, Austria. Um, but at any rate, uh, the workshops are, are designed to encourage Christian musicians to do a good job, give them the tools to be able to do the good job, and not just tools to play guitar, but uh, tools to arrange music and to, to bring the heart and soul of the music out of it instead of just kind of strumming at it, right. you know, is the idea. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's been a big part of my life for uh, quite a long time. Well, it's always nice to see an accomplished musician reaching back into the community and giving back to the community. Yeah, yeah. And trying, you know, a lot of people turn their backs on people that are, who are maybe not as good as they are. And yeah. so it's really good to see that, you know, there's guys at your level. Well, you know, I, I I thought for a long time that I was probably shooting myself in the foot because financially I do have to try to make a living at this. And, you know, trying to make a living at playing guitar, it's like the old joke, you know, like what do you call a guitar player that broke up with his girlfriend, homeless. You know, that's, that's pretty much the truth uh, most of the time. So, um... At any rate, uh, I, I've thought sometimes that I've kind of shot myself in the foot staying in the Christian community because if I just went out in the secular world as John the Great Guitar Player, uh, I could have probably accomplish more and do better. Uh, but the truth is, is that I, I'm just not into it much, and I, I am into trying to uh, raise the bar of excellence within the church and so forth. It's, it's a quest. It's not something that you choose. It kind of chooses you. And uh, so I, I just I have to keep doing it. Uh, so... Uh, anyway, I've, uh, I'm still traveling around uh, hacking at it anyway. <laughs> you did a great job of hacking. I'm not sure if my guitar has all those modes in it. I have to go buy another one. Oh, so man. you have a couple more songs for us. So what, what's, what's your next? Uh, I'm going to do an original tune, actually, called As a Little Child. Uh, and this tune is actually, it, it is like a Christian theme thing. It sort of describes the salvation experience. Uh, if you've been packing around a bunch of junk, you know, on your shoulders uh, all your life, and then suddenly you find yourself in the, in the Lord's presence and you get saved, you, you actually realize the situation and you repent and you turn and you say, okay, that's it, i I got to start a new chapter, but I'm going to need help, boy, you know. So, uh, you know, the Lord just kind of comes and picks you up and, the truth is, is you've still got all kinds of sin in your life and problems and everything, uh, even then. But he's got this gracious way of not like hitting you over the head with all of it at once. He'll just kind of let you sit on, on Papa's knee for a little while. And he just loves you up a little bit, you know. And he allows you the time to, to start to discover who he is and, and just to kind of fall in love with him and with life all over again. And you find yourself skipping around like, you know, one of those movies, you know, running slow motion through the daisies. You're, you're kind of weightless, you know, because all of the weight of the world has been lifted off your shoulder. And, and you're, um, you're just kind of out in the la-la land just enjoying, uh, you know, basking in the Lord's presence for a little while. And eventually he starts kind of saying, okay, but now, you know, we've still got this to deal with. And, you know, and he'll gradually start working on you some more. But uh, especially that first few months after you get saved, you're, you're just kind of in an ecstatic uh, mode. And so that's, uh, I wrote this tune about that little time period. I, I call it As a Little Child. Awesome. Well, let's do it. All right. <laughs>
So this is Rod Chatfield and John Stanford saying thanks for tuning in this week. Be sure to tune in next week to see what's coming up on Making Music. Thank <laughs> you.